I have a Samsung Smart TV and I'll be showing you what to do in case some of the apps or one of the apps on your Samsung Smart TV is not working properly. Maybe it's refusing to load or it keeps crashing or there's just something wrong with that app and you're not quite sure, but it's not working properly. So one of the things you can do is to try and soft reset your TV. Now a soft reset normally includes just plugging the TV from power so just pull the power cable from the wall socket, give it about 30 seconds, that will soft reset or cold reboot your TV. So after 30 seconds, you want to plug it back in, your TV should come on and then you can try checking if that app works properly. The other thing you want to do is to make sure internet connection is working properly on your TV. And to do that, simply go to settings and then go to main settings, I mean all settings. Under all settings, go to connection and then go to network and then under network, select network status. And that's going to check the current status of your connection. So as you can see, it says you are connected to the internet. So it means I'm good. So if you have problems with your internet connection, that might be the reason why that app is not working properly. Now, if that still doesn't fix your problem, you might want to check the date and time. So again, go to settings, all settings, and then go to general and privacy, and then go to system manager, and then check time, and then check your clock. Now the clock mode should be set to auto in most cases. If it's not set to auto and it's probably manual, then just make sure you have the correct date and the correct time on your TV. But in most cases, you don't really need to do that. You just have to come here and select auto and it should be good to go. Having the wrong date and the wrong time could affect some of the apps from working properly. Now, if that still doesn't fix your problem, then you might have an issue with too much cache data on that specific app or on the TV as a whole. So the next thing you want to do is try and clear cache from your TV. That also helps to free up some storage space, which if there's very little available storage space, it does affect some of the apps. So go to settings and then go to all settings. Under all settings, go to support and then go to device care. So that's going to uh, run some tests and under device care, you can go ahead and clear all the cache from your TV. So for instance, if I click on device care, it's going to free up memory by closing and use background apps, which saves some of the memory. And also it's going to free up memory by clearing cache. There you go. So freeing, free up memory by clearing cached uh, uh, data and that's it. So now, having cleared that cache from all the apps on your TV, then you can check if that app in question works properly. Now, in case you're still facing issues with that particular app, then you might need to reinstall the app. But before you do that, you might want to check your storage space and see how much storage space you have available. And if you don't have any storage space available, then you might want to create some by deleting some data. So go to settings again, and then go to support, and then go to device care. And then go to manage storage. Now here, as you can see in the top right corner right there, I have enough storage space available, so I'm good to go. Now, if your storage space is almost full, then you might want to delete some of the apps you don't use normally, okay? Now, having done all that, you might want to also reinstall an app that is giving you problems, even after you've checked all those things and you still have problems with that app. So to reinstall an app, just go to uh, the home screen. So just press the home button on your remote to go to the home screen and then 
go and select apps that should take you to the main apps page on this page go to settings in the top right corner and then select the app you want to reinstall the problematic app for instance if it's netflix just select netflix beg your pardon just make sure it's highlighted and then scroll down to that little menu and select reinstall and that's going to reinstall that application and probably even give you some latest updates that you might have missed so you can see the reinstallation is currently happening you can see that little green circle there and once it's done it will just be clear and ready to go there you go so the re reinstall has completed and now the app should be working properly now if for some reason you still have issues then you might also want to consider updating the whole tv so it could be that the TV is not set to update automatically and therefore you need to go to settings under settings go to uh, general and privacy and then go to system manager beg your pardon it's not there so it's under support sorry so when you go to support right under general privacy general and privacy select software update and then select update now your TV is going to check for available updates. And if it's up to date or if there are any available updates, they're going to get installed and your apps should be working properly. At least one of those things I've mentioned should help you fix your problem in case you have some apps or one app that is not working properly on your Samsung Smart TV. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.